Happy 2024. This is my first video of 2024. Hi Crafties, it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler. Today is going to be a different video. <laughs> I am going to show you a painting video. Welcome to my channel, The Crafty Traveler. My name is Lonnie and I'm a retired part-time solo traveler. I love to camp and travel. I travel with my little schnauzer Snickers in my Mini Winnie and I tow my Honda. We love to go to the desert in the winter, the mountains in the summer, and the seashore whenever we can. I enjoy doing sewing crafts and making quilts. I also go to retreats and quilt shows. I also like to paint and sometimes I show these on my videos. I'm a Harvest Host and Boondocker Welcome member. Come along and watch our adventures and see where we go. Give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty smart, creative, and safe. And thanks for watching. It is going to be a demonstration for the class that I'm going to lead in February at the Ironwood Meetup. This will be the painting we will be doing at the meetup. I got this idea while watching Steve Byers' Desert Adventures in Arizona FaceTime. And in his background, he has this picture. You can see Ragged Top Mountain and a swirl with a beautiful sunset. Now, my paintings aren't going to look just like this and neither will yours, but this is our inspiration. I've done this painting <laughs> to practice so many times, I think I have a special relationship with this mountain. As you can see, all of my pra practice paintings all look nice, but they are all different. And so yours will be different also, depending on your experience, your technique, the dryness in the air, which in the desert it's probably going to be pretty dry, where it's more moist where I live, so it takes longer to dry. This painting I'm going to show you is going to be done on a postcard. That's right, a postcard. This is watercolor paper printed on one side with postcard indications and the other side is blank where we're going to do the painting. The postcard blanks I'm going to be using are this brand and uh, they're very good watercolor, 140 pound weight watercolor paper and I bought them on Amazon. Now. You're going to say, what am I going to do with a postcard? Well, you could send it to someone. You could send it to yourself if you want. You could just keep it for yourself. In fact, you could go to Dollar Store and buy a little frame and put it in. And these fit perfectly in these little frames. And then you could hang it in your home or in your RV. Okay, now I'm going to show you my tools. The postcards will be mounted on a piece of cardboard that is covered with packing tape to make it more water resistant. And this is a sample of the postcard with masking tape on one of the boards. I also have, I have a little palette with only three colors. Yes, only three colors. Cadmium red, lemon yellow, and indigo blue. Red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors and when you mix them together you can get lots of different colors. They are Daniel Smith watercolors. I'm only going to need two brushes, a square wider one and a smaller one. And I have two jars of water. Because I am right-handed I like to have all my paints and water to my right. 
I also have Kleenex. Kleenex is your eraser in watercolor. Sorry, I have some shadows in here from this tripod that I'm going to try and work around. It's the first time I've tried this with the tripod. So, here's my palette, my cardboard with the cellophane tape on it with my postcard, and I've marked top. So we know where the top of the postcard is so that you know when you turn it around, it'll be on the right side. Okay. I'm going to dip my brush, my bigger brush, in water. And I'm first going to wet the entire card. I'm going to use the wet on wet method. So you wet the entire postcard, the entire paper. When it's wet on wet, the paper is wet as well as the paint is wet. The reason I want to do wet on wet is because it blends the colors nicely and it dries a little softer. So I'm going to take about one third, the top third of the card, the paper, and put in a good amount of indigo blue. Think of dividing your card into approximately thirds. And I'm going to rinse off my brush and I'm going to get some red and put it some of it right in on that dark blue and then bring it down. Now red and blue are supposed to make purple. So they don't always make purple, but they're supposed to make purple. See, I put that in the blue a little too much. I'm going to add a little more blue. And it's pretty wet. Okay. Looks kind of messy, doesn't it? Now I'm going to rinse off my brush very well. I don't want any other color in there. And I'm going to pick up my lemon yellow. And I'm going to brush that down in. And it's okay if some of that red gets in there because yellow and red make orange. And this is a sunset. So yellow and red make orange. We're getting all the colors of the rainbow in here. Blue, purple, red, orange. I'm just wetting my brush and washing it off a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take just a little bit more yellow and put it down here in this corner because that's where the sun come, is supposed to be. That indicates that the sun is there. And we'll work with that later. Okay, there we are. There's the first coat. Now I'm going to take a tissue and I'm going to wipe my edges off here because I don't want the paint to get underneath that tape. And it's okay if there's a little streak, we can fix that. Okay, so edges are wiped off. That streak is actually right on the tape. There, okay. All right. That is our first layer of paint. Now, I have to let it dry. I'll be back. Now you might be asking why I chose this picture to work from. Well, we're going to be at an Ironwood National Forest, National Monument, boondocking. I don't know, there might be 50 to 100 campers out there. I don't know. We'll see. But this mountain is Ragatop Mountain and that is one of the main mountains out there in the monument and of course the saguaro cactus is a wonderful icon of the desert. When I saw this picture on Steve Byer's Desert Adventures in Arizona I thought that's what I need to paint because I think it's fairly easy for beginners and it will be a great keepsake for those people that are going to be in the class. 
Okay, it's all dry. Look at how many colors we got in there. We got the dark blue, the purple, red, orange, a yellow orange or a dark yellow, and the light yellow. Now let's look at the reference photo again. You'll notice that the cactus is pretty high and that the mountain starts about the middle of the cactus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the larger brush again, dip it in a little water, and brush it off so it's not sopping wet. And then I'm going to dip into the blue, yes the blue, right along the tip of the brush. Okay, not the whole brush, just the tip. And we're going to put in the cactus. So along the right side, about an inch, about right there, that's where your cactus is going to go. And you're going to go, you're going to push down, not push down, but paint down and make a line all the way to the bottom. And then go up to about the edge of the blue. Okay? Now, it's not straight. Guess what? Cactus are not straight. There are no straight lines in nature. So don't worry about it. If you want to make it a little thicker, which I think I want to do, I'm going to just dab it again and spread the paint out. Okay. Now we're going to put arms on the cactus. I'm going to start with the right side first. And about halfway up, I'm going to go out and then kind of sweep it up like that. And again, painting cactus, it doesn't matter. There's got to be one out there somewhere like that. It doesn't matter. I've seen saguaro cactus, all different shapes, sizes, tangled up on each other. And yes, this is going to be a fat arm, but that's the way it goes. Okay, I'm going to dip my brush again. This time I'm going to come below that arm and come out and sweep like that and maybe come down. Even that up a little bit. Bring that arm out a little bit more. Maybe bring it a little higher. You can judge, you can adjust your cactus any way you want. One more, I'm going to put another little arm on this side. Okay? There's my saguaro cactus. Good. Now, remember the picture said the top of the mountain is about halfway middle of the cactus. So kind of look to where that would be and put a little dot. It's about halfway in the middle of the cactus plus about halfway in the card. Like right there. That's going to be the top of my mountain. Now the mountain is basically a triangle. So just paint a triangle. come all the way down. And then, now we need a little more paint. You're going to come all the way across with paint at the bottom. And go back. Okay? Now we know that the mountain's not really a triangle, but now we can go in and, and look at some details. Okay, so we're going to go in and look at some details. There's the triangle. Now there's a bump on the left side and there's another little bump. So maybe we can get that in. So there's a, a medium bump. I'm going to switch brushes. Now is when I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to use this smaller brush. Wet it. Put it in the paint. And this way I can draw that smaller bump, or the medium bump, and then the smaller bump, and then coming out. Okay. Now, these bumps on the mountain, they have all these little bumps too. Again, you don't have to be precise. There's no straight lines in nature, but you could come down and make little bumps 
little uneven areas along that side of the mountain and fill it in. Now usually blue and yellow make green, but because the paint underneath was dry, you're going to see a little bit of yellow there, which is okay because that's a reflection of the sun. And then go ahead and paint the rest of the mountain in, covering everything up. There we go. I need some more paint. Make a couple more bumps. It's okay that it's not right in the middle. That was just a reference point. Everybody's is going to be different, and every time I paint this, it's different. And then you can put a few little bumps on the other side as well. And then fill in these little hills. You don't want the paint too wet, a little more thickness in it to cover. And then I like to put in some detailing here. When it dries, you'll be able to see it a little better. But basically, that is the painting. Okay? Now you can get a little more detailed. You might notice in the reference picture there are little straight lines over here and there's a few little straight lines and looks like little bushes in there. I wouldn't get too detailed but you can put a couple little straight lines out there in the distance. There are other saguaro cactus out there. Give them little tiny arms. Don't get too too involved with it, but just some little detail. And they all don't have to have arms. And then there was some little bushes that look like in the reference photo out there. And that's it. That is the painting for the Ironwood Meetup. Okay? Now, the fun part is taking the tape off. When you pull tape off, especially if you know it's not quite dry, is you want to pull it off slowly and pull it off away from the painting. And hopefully it won't stick to the card and pull your painting apart. I've had that happen. So there's one. And... There's one side. Be very careful. Go slowly and pull down and away from the painting. It's always fun to take the tape off because once you have the tape off, you see the picture more clearly. want to touch it yet because it's still wet. Oop, I just bumped the camera. Okay, there. Once the tape is off, you can see the picture more clearly like it's in a little frame. Go to the dollar store and pick yourself out a little frame. It would fit in there perfectly. I hope you like the demonstration of the watercolor postcard of Ragged Top Mountain with a saguaro cactus that's located in the Ironwood Memorial Forest near Marana, Arizona. This is the one I will be demonstrating at the meetup in February. The Feb meetup is February the 2nd through the 6th. I'm not sure exactly what day I'll be doing the demonstration, but I will be doing it there. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.
Give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe. Bye now.